From the depths of the mines to the outer worlds of chopping trees, we're in foundation. Welcome back, guys. I hope you're all well, and thank you for appreciating the first episode and letting me know you enjoyed it. I really do appreciate that. We're here, and we're going to basically continue on from where we were, so we're trying to unlock the trade route for planks. So we're basically waiting for a trader. There's a couple more people coming in, but what we're going to do is build up a little bit of a surplus on the, the plankage, I think. So we've got carpenters when they come in we'll get another person in there and we've also got another woodworker camp that we'll work on as well and basically we'll we'll make sure that there is enough planks to go around to also sell so we'll oh my god there's four beautiful it's almost like we needed that many there we go and then we'll get another bunch of people in there for now that should be fine but yeah thank you for the love on the first episode guys it is massively appreciated i i honestly can't say how much it means to me other than thank you. Um, if you aren't subbed, do consider it as well. You're a legend if you do. Right, so we should have, there you go, look, plenty of meat coming in as well. We are going to work on what we need for the trader here. So let's make sure we are good. Planks, okay. Wood, we should get more of that. Stone's good. We will look at towards the polished stone eventually when we have the progress to do so. And we will be selling in the meat. I don't want to sell too much of the food. We're going to open the book right now and just check the progression tree. So you actually need 20 to get into the next one. And the game really, really opens up from this point because you get the Bayless officer. We start upgrading them and we can start taxing our people and making lots of money. And yes, I love the money. Now, I obviously I'm not going into fishing yet until we've unlocked the territory. It's pretty cheap to get it anyway. I mean... Cost five coins per month, though. that's the only problem. But then we will be able to fish, so I think we'll cancel that for now, and we'll work with just these two food sources for the moment. We haven't got the population to uh, run with that anyway. Um, one of the things I do want to get is, in here, there's the clothing one, so you can produce cloth from wool, and then you can start exchanging. Um, you need commoners to run that one, though, so you can't do that until the trader comes in. So we're going to wait for that. Finish this task, and then we'll be able to go into building our our main big building here. Right, so I've just realized this whole time we haven't named our village. Uh, what shall I do here? Right, I'm going to go with what you guys... I'm going to let you pick a village name. I should have mentioned this. Um, so give me your best village names and lord names. And uh, if there isn't any there, then I'll, I'll just name it myself. But I'll leave it an episode or two, and we'll rename that once I've got round to reading those that'd be massively appreciated so come up with some cool names for that anything considered if you can make it funny there's bonus points for that so i'm just going to assign any extra where we can so i'm going to put them in the stone cutters for now as you can see look all the pigs are gone so i'm going to actually reduce the butcher down to one person so i'll have a one-to-one -one ratio on that what we do need to keep an eye on is whether there's even anything to hunt so if we go hunting zone here they are still okay i think we could paint that as well Oh, I forgot. You've got to click unlock trade route. Boom. Right, we've unlocked the trade route. Perfect. And then we can go into the manor house. So let's put this advice into practice. Sorry. Rookie error right there. So now the trader will can. You have to physically click it for the planks. So what we're going to do, though, is go into the resources tab here. And we're going to make sure we're selling. So we're making a relative amount. Uh, let's keep 20. Let's make sure we're selling. Ah, here comes the trader. So it came pretty quickly, actually. And then we need to decide where we're going to put our manor house. So administration, we are going to slow it down whilst we make a nice build of this. So what I'm going to do is turn on the territory boundary so I know where to build. Where do I want my administration building? Uh, I kind of want it away from everyone else. I don't think we'll be building up here for a while. So let's put it in over here. So we're going to select a function. We're going to go great hall. And we're going to slowly bring in what we want to do here. So I'm going to just put this one pretty central here. I'm going to leave enough garden space for this thing. And we're going to need a doorway. Put it this side. And we're going to need a rustic tower. I think we'll go to the side with that one. That's not quite enough because you need a chimney to be able to complete the build. So we're going to go chimney. I don't want to buy the doorway. So let's go... This side. Oh, you can have it on top of that, actually. Maybe that spire has the fire in it. Yeah, that's cool. And then a visitor location. So we'll just have them there. And a waiting here. And we can decorate. So we'll get some basic decorations on. I don't want to spend too much because it costs a fortune. But I'm going to go with 
a tree or two. And when we unlock the other ones, let's go one tree there and maybe a, a flower bush right there. And for the time being, we'll build that. So it's going to cost us 29 planks, 27 stone and some tools. Let's do that. And let's see. It looks like we made a big chunk of gold right there. So if we go into our... Let's reduce that. I'm going to keep the boundaries on at the moment. If we go into our economy here, trade sold. So we sold 25 berries and 25 planks. So we made 125 gold from that. And there you go. We've got a good amount. So upgrading trade routes. I'm going to dismiss that because upgrading trade routes requires a hell of a lot that we're not going to hit just yet. But we've almost hit that next progression. So you've got to physically sell 50 and buy 50 in one go, I believe, to upgrade it to the next level. I think this disappears, potentially. We'll see. I need to buy... If there's anything I want to buy, like tools, we can get those in. Um, what else would we potentially buy from them? Maybe some cloth. But we're going to be able to produce that ourselves really soon. I'm going to grab these guys in. We will take those. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure that we are producing a hell of a lot of uh, wood here. So my next thing to do is probably going to be painting the extraction zone a little bit higher. So we'll go up here. I know they're not replanting, but that's fine. We'll chop those down for now because our building's up there as well. And we'll, we'll turn that one off. And we'll wait for the manor house to be built. So I'll speed that one up because that is our quest at the moment. Build a manor house, assign tools to a warehouse, and allow tools purchased from the trade. Uh, it wants us to do tools. So we're going to need to go into our warehouse here and assign tools. We'll do that. We've only got two transporters in at the moment. I think I'll leave that still though. And we will go into the trade again. And we will go resources, and we're going to buy in this time. So what we want to do is buy until we reach a certain value. So we're at 10. Let's say we're going to always buy until we hit 15 tools, right? So the next trader that comes will sell stuff, but they'll buy in that. And then what you need for the next trade, so obviously you've got the clothes production is to get the second trader here. The next one's bread, the next one's manuscript. We're not going to be anywhere near that. And this progression, I'm not going to click anything in here for the time being until we've hit this next one. So we're going to work probably clothing as our next thing. Let's have a look. There's some new decorations which are nice and we'll probably get the bailiff office in. Tavern we can't really do too much with yet and there's the farm there to produce the beds. Uh, bread, not bed. So if we wanted to go into that route then we could do that as well. So as we've got spare unemployed villagers I am going to start getting them in these because it will level them up. Um, they do level up as you go along. And I think we'll get in a another, um, we'll go resource and I'll get another lumber camp. I'm probably going to buy out this one and have it as like a main lumber thing actually. Maybe we'll just stick with what we've got for now. Mandates, right. I think our town hall has slowly been built so that means we can do levy. So we could earn money from them with a levy or we can promote based on this. So there is no, no promotion eligible yet so we'll call that off, we'll leave that. Here comes the next trader though, so hopefully we can buy tools and fulfill that one. Um, and the great hall it wants. We'll grab in that one person. The splendor of your village has unlocked a new tier. Uh, common path, new content available to unlock. So what this now does is opens a huge thing. So at the moment we're only down the, uh, the common path. There are other paths you can go down. We're going to go into... Uh, which one's better here? We need commoners before we can produce any of that, actually. Tavern, there's no point. Stonemason also needs commoners, so we need to actually be able to do certain things. But I think let's go to our great hall here. Uh, we're still building, so we'll leave that one. Let's get into here. Once that's finished, we'll let that kind of do everything. And then we can decide where we need to go from that point as well. It looks like we made some more gold, though, as you can see. The 43 in trade. We did buy in the tools because we're at 15 now. All right, there's a big load of people coming in, so we probably need to look into the progression. I speaking funny. You can just click straight up here, by the way. Um, so, do we want decorative? What do I want to do here? Sell goods, goods stall sign to markets. No. Uh, it might be worth unlocking the bailiff office. I am going to just unlock the cloth for now, though. So, the splendor of your village has unlocked a new tier of unlockables. So, we're going to go into the progress here. So, now you've got labor. You've got Kingdom, Clergy, and Edicts, and Privileges. So it opens up massively. There's lots of different types of decorations you can do. I'm not really going to focus too much. We're going to go Common Path to start with anyway. 
that one just gives a splendor package a hedge and decorations for the market area um, a lot of our stuff to be fair though these are quite good you can build a monastery there's different um, tasks you can do to unlock and then the kingdom you can go military fort stake walls and stuff like that as well um, but we're not going to do that what we're going to have a look here promote villages so you first need a manor house with a great hall to promote people we know that a villager's needs have to be f fulfilled for the first time so in order to promote i'm just going to let it run we need to like just click someone at the moment happiness minor level two i am on free time i'm just going to slow it down and let it tick nice and slowly here and oh we'll accept these guys getting a population up is great early on anyway we've got 39 and we've got Advice, the aspiration of the village. We should aspire to greatness. Finally, by yourself in the Great Hall, you spend a few minutes of silence thinking about your aspiration and the future of your village. Providence has been good to you and your people so far, and it seems like everything is possible. We should all aspire to greatness. That is a very good bit of uh, thingy there. All right, as the population's increasing, I'm actually going to um, go into our trade tab a second, and I'm going to change up the amount we're selling. So I'm going to actually increase the... Uh, the planks to 30 so we only sell above it we're making quite a bit of gold uh, if you hold control no you just hold it in sorry it goes up by five i'm gonna go to 100 on the berries uh and then we're still selling we're making good money anyway let's get rid of all this and then we'll, we'll just let that tick through um it wants us to obviously track a village aspiration but i'm not going to do any aspirations just yet you can track them over here i mean you could it basically pins it over here um we failed this one Never generate red revenue from trade routes, but have a hundred citizens first, so... There's certain different, like, missions you can do. Build the monastery. Uh, build the monastery. Never promote a villager to the next strat uh, status, and build a monastery is one of them. There's no point in them too much. Prosperity of 500 is going to be crazy. I'm just going to click that to get rid of the thingy. That stays down here. 2R Prosperity! Ruling on your own. You take a stroll through the village and look at what you've achieved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's very happy to our prosperity. Our churches will be the pride of the clergy. Our manor houses will serve the laborers. Our forts... Uh, I'm going to serve the laborers, I think. All right, here comes messengers now. So this is a new thing once your manor houses come in. They come in, they can give gifts. They can ask for things um, from the other colonies. And then you can click on them. And then we have an isolated community of fishermen are looking for a kind-hearted builder. My best builder will draw you a blueprint. So what does this do? blueprint is clear it gives us 15 progression towards them uh the blueprint is confused we'll do that that's fine and then we've got one over here the kingdom recognizes your efforts in establishing your settlement i am but a humble servant they're going to give us 100 gold lovely influence earned as well so you've got different influence with each faction um and the and the, the styles is there is a lot of depth to it so we've got the goods production now um i am going to start I think I want to buy a new place first then. So let's... Where do we want to farm? Let's go in. We'll look at territories. I want to get fishing, but I also want to farm. This one could be good because we can get a second lot of berries. I also want... That's going to be pure housing, I think. That one's going to be fishing. Hmm. I think with the way we are laid out, let's purchase that one. And then what we're going to do is get in... Let's see, there's the uh, the rustic church. We're not going to do that one. There's the tailor workshop. Needs commoners. The weave hut needs commoners. And then we've got the sheep farm. Uh, before we can promote then, so we need to work on the happiness. I think I'm going to extend the housing one. I might even buy that one early. I think we're going to go with sheep farm. Somewhere over here. It needs a little bit of space because you spawn the, the sheep in. It's something like that. And then once it's built, you can spawn in the sheep. Let's speed it back up. All right, so if I click into a person here, they, they're not met at least once. So what we need to do is get the church built. So I think the church is going to be what's allowing us to be promoting people here. So we need an area. Let's firstly do this. The elders, the much respected leading men and women among the reigning laborers, heard of your village and wish to make themselves useful to your people. Okay, we're going to gain 10 tools and some influence on that progression tree. Perfect. We are going to make a church, and I think I want the church near the manor house for now, but I'm going to leave a bit of space, and we're going to start. We'll probably have this really basic to start, so let's go something like... I love how it's free build, and you don't have to muck about doing anything, so we're going to do that, and then we'll put the doorway on the front of there, and then we'll need a bell tower. 
just there. We'll keep it nice and simple. We'll probably have a couple of stone benches out front. There we go. We got we got our thingies out front, and we're going to hit ready to build. We're going to smash build on that one. Cost us 15 gold. There is upkeep required on these, and there's a maintenance cost, which is that. So only thing to consider with that, but that is going to help us along the way quite well, I think, with getting this. We're getting more houses in as well, so we are going to need to increase. I think we go ahead and kind of buy this territory. How much is that? That's five gold per month. I think we're making enough to purchase it. And then we're going to paint a huge extra residential zone here. And it should be enough for now to cover what we're doing. So we're going to just paint that. Uh, I'm not going to go any further this way. So the, this area is still going to be used for resource storage for now. And then we'll... I think I'll go as big as that. And then our next marketplace will have to be up this way. All right, look how many pr prosperity points we now have. So in order to get the flourishing, you need the... Uh, 75 which will make the tools but we need to work i'm gonna slowly but surely work through these so we are starting the clothing and i'm also going to get the stonemason hut to get polished stone um it costs gold so i don't want to do too much yet we could go into the bailiff office as well and what that means is right so let's advice mandating the bailiffs let's have a bailiff here so we're going to go into the great hall here and we're going to go bailiff office now and we're going to need to expand that onto our all here so it's kind of cool how it works you basically build onto it wooden hall where do we want this though that is the question if i can do something like that and then have a door on the back for the bailiff office i think we'll do that i'm going to make it like a, a bit of a square here let's have a look i think do i even need the door on there you can tell it not to snap as well by the way yeah you do need the door on there so let's let's have it around the side instead let's go boom We'll get that bailiff office on there. What we need is a promotion to get the bailiff in, though, of a commoner. So once the church is built, we'll promote someone to be a bailiff, and then we can start. What the, what that means is you can basically start taxing your people and make gold that way. And it'll pay for all our expansions here. Which is cool. What have we got here? Influencing others. The fishermen are thankful for the blueprints, as a bridge is definitely going to bring their community to the forefront. As thanks, they would like to trade a fair number of fish for some of your stones. So they will give us 50 fish for 25 stone. We have definitely got enough. Trade, I just gave you a bridge. You can spend some of your points up here. Do that. We're not going to do that. And I'm going to go a most generous offer. Thank you. So we're going to get a little bit of fish in. Only downside to that is we're going to need to assign resource place for fish. But because we haven't got it, actually, we can't do anything with that. So I don't know where that fish goes. All right, newcomer requests my audience. Please come in. So we're on 42 population. There's a lot of that going on, but we do need to work a little bit on our decoration. So what I'm going to do down the common path here is I'm actually going to unlock the new decorative stuff here. And we've got levy funds now. Let's ask the villagers for coins we can do. It makes them unhappy. So I'm going to say continue on my own. We're going to go into some of these new decorations now. And this is where it really starts to look nice, I feel. So you can get polished stuff there. We can go into some of these so we can go a little bit of a statue. I think I want to increase the, the houses that are already there. So if I go like one on the edge here, if I get that right in, that's a nice spot for that. And it covers these two houses. So then you can go pruned bush. You can kind of... I want to fit them around these guys so they are... If you hold shift as well actually and i'll get in one just over here i know we've got the one in there i want it to kind of hit these guys here and then i might you know what let's cancel that i'm gonna get something in that might look okay next to this so if we go this has got a big range look which is great so if we go simple planter here might be able to get a couple of benches either side of that later on but that will help with happiness a little bit here and it's kind of dense you know cool though here we go the elders are looking to repair a few bridges, so they want to trade. The success, we would give, if we accumulate 100 wood, we get that. Let's discuss a better deal. Uh, the offer sweetens. Uh, we lose some of that. Not interested, maybe next time. I'm going to get rid of that because I don't. we lose if we don't hit it, and I don't think we're going to hit the 100 wood because we're stockpiling planks at the moment. Let's just plonk that there for now, and we will prioritize. We'll get that going, and we'll get all the spare people working into there. We are going to be, obviously, needing one person running the church, one person running the bailiff office, 
And there we have it. Look, our church is almost there. It's just throwing in the last bit, so it's building... Oh, no, weekly attendance, so... They are still going in whilst he's building the uh, spire here, so they are going in. But that does mean, I believe, no villager eligible. So what we need to do... Here we go. So we're going to go... Look at all this. Look at all this. So you can do all these mandates with all this. So prospect a minimal mineral deposit. This is where you get into the point where I haven't played too much. So now that we've got the church, we can, we can promote. So it costs... 20 gold to do it and what we're going to do is we've got a bunch of unemployed and so that means there's no immigration for now because of that but we are going to pay to promote let's say three from now we'll conclude promotions and what we're going to do is assign a bailiff so each one has different things so job learning speed is increased by 10 percent weekly salary of five gold happiness is less impacted by 10 percent Soldier training speed is increased by 10%. So there's a lot of depth. We're going to go job learning speed is 10%. So we're going to nominate. All right, we can start assigning more people now. So we're going to extract the berries from here. This is going to help massively. So what we can do... Oh, didn't mean to do that. We are going to close that one. We are going to uh, wait for the builder still. Once that's done, we'll get that in. We've also got them building the bailiff house here. Just waiting for four tools there. So two builders are bringing the resources. And same goes for the last part of the church there. It's got all the resources. Builders are very slow in this game, which is fine, I feel like. you just got to keep on top of it. But we've got 10 unemployed villagers at the moment. Houses being upgraded. Um, but we're going to have all of that changing soon. I'm upping my wood, by the way, as well. I've also got a lumber camp to be built over here. There we go. Rustic part of the church is done. And there's a career approaching the village as well. So we should have increased berries once this is done. So I'm actually going to go straight away with three more foragers in there. That's more things to sell, isn't it? And then we can ring the bells if we wanted to. So you can check the frequency. Ring bells type is light. Bell pitch. You can change the, the noise and everything, which I think is pretty cool. Um, we haven't actually got anyone in there at the moment, so that's fine. Uh, just waiting for the bailiff office. Let's have a look. Uh, gain this. Words of your village's first church has reached the clergy. They appreciate your dedication to the faith and thus hold you in high regard. So we're going to gain some influence there. Perfect. Just for building that church that made them quite happy. And there we go. We got 50 fish in here now. Can we now assign fish to there? Now we've got it. We will do that. So we'll get that one in there. Just waiting on this last bit to be built here, please, guys. Come on. And I think our wood camp is done now. So, no, nope, not quite there. But bailiff office now built. Perfect. What that does mean, I believe, is we can go into, I think, where is it? I think it's a tax office you need to build, actually. Yeah, the treasury. There it is. The bigger the room, the more gold can store. Okay. So let's build the treasury as well. We want just a small one for the treasury, I think. And we'll have it next to the... So here's how I wanted to do it. I want it to go round like this. I'm going to hit that. It's got doorway, so we'll have the treasury on the back of there. Now that we can build it, we'll get these guys in. So it's average again now that we've got lots coming in. So we should have good stuff. What we can do now, by the way, is we have our sheep farm. We're going to have one shepherd. And you spawn the sheep in. And it tells you off. So come on, don't abuse. We'll just stop at that. And then because we have that, I'm also going to go into our goods production here. And we are going to go into a weaver's hut. Uh, we want this to kind of be... Uh, how am I going to do this? Let's go there. Ah, uh, we don't have the 50 coins to do that. So you can just leave the ghost image. So we need to make a sale now. Um, which is fine. We just need... What I'm going to do is turn off my tools to be purchased for the moment. We'll put that down to 10. We could sell some of the fish. Let's say... Went above... We'll, have, we'll keep some of them. We'll sell 10 of the fish when they next come in. I think that's the other trader. Uh, next lumber camp has been built as well. So we're going to assign three to that. And we're going to start ramping up the wood storage a little bit there as well. Yeah, we need those berries coming. You see how they got no access to food. We desperately need uh, the more pigs, to be honest. So let's paint a hunting zone. Let's go. Now we've got all this. I don't know whether that... That looks like it's cutting through my housing zone, actually. They're not building here yet, then. So let's just do that. Uh, I'll tell you what. Let's cut this whole area off. We'll have to take that away soon. 
Yeah, we'll make that decision because we need to hunt a little bit. So I don't think we can reach those. I think we can reach these guys. So anything we can kind of grab from those. And there's a nice big area now over here that we can hunt on. Wherever the trees are really is where the boars come from what I've seen. So that's fine. All right. It's asking us to revise an edict here. So we have an empty slot that we can assign. So trade price bonus of 10% from village with labor allegiance. So we'll grab that in for an extra 10%. And we have an empty slot for an edict that we can do there. We can't do that right now. And there it is. I've just been looking and you've got to go into the labor tab and go tax office. So we're going to unlock the tax office here. We don't actually have the gold, but that does mean we're going to need to build the tax office. And I'm going to continue on around. So we've got the treasury and then we'll have the tax office that goes into the back of it. We'll set that one to be built and that's how we're going to do it. So you need a commoner to do that. So I'm going to also go ahead and promote where we can. Let's open the list up. We've got a couple more that are unemployed. So we're going to have to just do one more because we don't have any more gold in stock here. And the manor house will slowly grow. So I'm going to go with like a nice square. We'll probably come all the way down to here. And then the church is going to build off the back this way as well when we can. And that's how you kind of make it look nice. And then I'll decorate it. Once you upgrade with the decorations, we will do that. But at the moment, it's about getting that gold up, right? We are producing some wool. So let's have a look at the trader here. Let's see if there's anything that they buy. Do they buy wool? So you can sell wool. Let's have a look at trade routes. Sell to them. No. Okay. That's fine then. So we'll keep that going. All we need to consider then is the this. So the weaver's hut. And also getting in the tailor's workshop. So we'll get that. I think I don't want that over here. I'll be honest with you. I kind of want this to be... I want it to be almost like... I don't know if it has bad desirability. Let's pop it there and we'll get that ready to be built as well. But guys, thank you for joining me today. I think we've made some good progress and next episode we should be well in the money. We've got plenty of space to build from here. Trader coming in, hopefully we can sell to them as well. But we're looking really good, so please do smash that thumbs up for me. And if you are new, do consider subbing as well. And obviously, if you haven't seen the game, let me know your thoughts on it so far. And if you are familiar with the game, tips are welcomed as well to kind of consider... Because there's quite a bit of depth to it, actually. I'm not going to lie. So, yeah, do throw them in there as well. But as always, guys, do take it easy. Have a good day, and I'll see you in the next one.